Today we're going to be working on our farm aid feed wagon. Uh, we got a couple things to do with it. The unloader has a couple plastic rollers at the end and they're getting wore out to where to where the unloading chain is rubbing on the metal shaft and so it wears it down and so we're going to be taking off those rollers those plastic rollers put new ones on also we have this new chain here that we're going to be putting on it because that chain's been wearing out quite a bit we've been having to take half links out to make it keep working and so we've had this feed wagon for I think about 10 years and so we're gonna be working on that switching some things around basically just gonna be taking off those plastic rollers and putting on new ones and a new chain dad's bringing up the feed wagon and we'll get working on that so we just cleaned out the last little bit in there making sure that none of that feed's gonna get in our way so we're just gonna drive it up start we just have a few bolts to take out so we can see that this plastic is really wore out. It's actually cut into three sections now. Usually it's one whole piece. And you can see this bar is a lot closer than this next one because we've been taking half links out. And so right here's our cotter pin. We'll take that out, pull, pull out this whole chain and put on these new wheels. See the new one comes in one complete piece and this part's supposed to be wider so the chain, the outsides of the chain run right around it but it actually cut it all the way down and it looks like we we're just starting to wear on the metal shaft down in there. The feed wagon at the north place had this really bad actually where we rubbed into the that shaft right in the middle that this roller rolls on but it's just fine now since we put the new roller on it over there. So we got these set screws loose. Now we gotta take this plate off. And that way we can pull the shaft out, put the new rollers on. So the idea is to get this outside part a little hotter. Then it'll expand. Hopefully it'll loosen up anything that's a little corroded in there that's keeping stuff from sliding. We don't have the good torch over here, the oxyacetylene, we just have this propane torch. There we go. So this is one of the old ones. The other one actually was cut into three complete different pieces. And this is the new one. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference there. We weave the chain through, we put the link together and we've got this cotter pin bent in here so it, so the cotter pin we bent that so that way the connector link doesn't fall back out. So now we're just going to put these ends back on and get them bolted back to the unloading. So 
we got these tightened back up. Now we just got to get these set screws back in so the shaft doesn't move. So we have this one, this one, and this one that all need tightened. That sure did run a lot smoother the last few months. It's been making a lot of noises. The chain was jumping up and down and now it sounds really smooth and hopefully that'll reduce a lot of the wear and tear off that thing. We got some new stickers on our pickups. It's just a small Sunny Farms sticker. We have black and white. We also have some colored ones. So tell me what you think of those, if they look pretty cool. It was getting pretty hot there, and so Dan and I went in the house and didn't do much. And then we ended up checking on some fields. And now that sun went down a little, it's about 15 degrees cooler. I'm going to grab my drag that I made like two months ago. And the chain broke on it because it pulls pretty hard. Those are really big I-beams that it's made out of, and the chain's too weak. And I'm going to bring that up, weld it back together, and then I'm going to drag the yard a little bit. What keeps happening is, well, you can see right here, there's some old chain and I keep hitting something hard and the area that got hot but didn't get actual weld on it is what breaks. Because if you do a decent job welding, the strongest part should be your weld and then the weakest part is right next to that weld that just got really hot because it weakens the steel a little bit. And so as you can see right here, it snapped and then I just pulled it right off the other side of the chain and I've actually put heavier chain on it it used to be this stuff it that the front part's been holding up I've never had to weld on the front but this back part I've had to weld three or four times on this side like two times on the other side and so I've I've used bigger chain since I put the bigger chain on this will be the first time that I actually have to weld on it again but I'm gonna clean it up weld it and then I'm gonna drag the yard because this big puddle in the middle of the yard tends to stay there for a long time unless I drag it out of there. Well, hopefully that holds for a few days <laughs> uh, if it if it breaks again I'm gonna have to just add another chain or two the thing is if I add another chain in the middle it'll need to be the same length as these other two otherwise if it's too tight then it'll probably just break right away and if it's too loose it's not gonna take any pressure off these other two I'm gonna put the welder away and get dragging the yard drag it down this trench we have going through a yard get it out of here let it drain through that field and then after that I start spreading it out allowing the air and the Sun to have a lot of surface area on the water to get it dried out of here and so the drags holding up right now I'm gonna keep doing this not much going on today it's still really wet usually this time of year we're either finishing up third cuttings of alfalfa or we're usually cleaning out lots but those are still way too way too wet to get in and out of so thanks for watching hit that subscribe button ellie's a little thirsty ain't ya see you later